Juno has now been out for just under a month, and her highly unique kit makes her one of the most entertaining heroes to play. In this video I will talk about how I think the best way to maximize her carry potential is, but first we will break down her strengths and weaknesses. Juno's biggest strength is her high mobility and speed boost capability, which allows her to enable her team to rush at the enemy and storm through them. Her high mobility also allows her to reach off angles from height advantages where you are able to distract the enemy team and try and find a kill. Juno's weaknesses are that she can be quite underpowered in 1v1 situations and has little 1v1 potential due to not, her not having a fast escape ability like wall right or 2p and as well as no self healing ability as well. She plays best in team fight situations, not 1v1s. However, you can still try and force 1v1s, just don't be surprised if you do find yourself dying quite a bit in those situations. Juno's other major weakness is that she is highly fragile and can easily be focused down. This is majorly due to her not having a good self heal as said prior, but her fragility is definitely the biggest weakness in her kit. Now breaking down her abilities. Her primary fire, her Medi Blaster, is a hit scan burst that shoots in bursts at 12. It does 7.5 damage or 6.5 healing per shot. Now it is worth noting two things about a Medi Blaster. Number one, for some reason it doesn't headshot. And number two, it has severe drop off, not just for damage, but healing as well. Juno's passive is her Martian Overboots, which gives her double jump as well as slow fall effect, which is very useful for getting to high ground. Her Pulsar Torpedoes are an auto lock ability that can heal and damage at the same time. It does 85 damage and healing on impact, with it doing a further 50 healing over time on impacted allies. Using your ult, however, will cancel it, so do not use it when you are using your torpedoes. Barriers will block them as well. This ability has a cooldown of 10 seconds if it is locked onto anyone during its duration and 2 seconds and if not. Her glide boost is her personal mobility ability. It lasts for 4 seconds and has a 6 second cooldown. It has an initial dash that makes her move at a 390% speed increase and then she will just hover around at a 50% speed increase. While she is in the air, she can double jump while channeling her ability. It can also be ended early by pressing the ability again. The best ability in her kit, as well as the most fun ability, is her hypering. Upon activation, it provides speed boost of plus 50% that lasts only for 3 seconds and creates a large ring that when you pass through it, provides the same 50% speed boost, except it lasts 6 seconds now instead. Now it is worth noting that if it is placed correctly, it will grant the speed boost effect through walls, so in some scenarios, you, when you can't heal your teammates, you might be able to provide them with speed. Now moving on to her ultimate, her orbital ray, it is basically Zenyatta's ult on the steroids. It provides 100 healing per second to anyone out inside of its area, as well as 35% damage increase as well. It lasts a total of 10 seconds, so it heals a grand total of 1000 healing. It is worth noting two things about her ult. Number one is that it can be interrupted, so if you are killed or CC'd during the animation, the ult will be cancelled. Number two is that it goes through walls and barriers. Now moving on to her playstyle, you want to be using majority of your abilities in the most aggressive way possible in conversion with the rest of your team. Trying to speed through the enemy team and take out as many squishies as possible. To maximize her damage output, you really want to be using your pulse arc torpedoes off of cooldown and try and create the most damage uptime as possible. Juno does her highest damage output at a close range, as it doesn't affect her damage fall off, and it is far easier to hit her burst shots as well. When attacking at a close range, after every burst you want to do a melee. I have found that this is the best way to maximize her damage output and carry potential, as well as incorporating her torpedoes whenever they come off of cooldown. Like I mentioned earlier, you want to try your best to avoid 1v1 situations, when they are either at full health or diving you, and attack people as a team. But if it is necessary to, and you're being engaged, by example, an enemy tracer, you can attempt to 1v1, trying to close distance on them, doing the same burst melee combo until a teammate tries comes to heal you or you kill them. 
However, in situations where the enemy is isolated and killable, going for a 1v1 each time is the best option if you're confident you will survive. With our positioning, you want to be positioned where you can provide the most value in each team fight, whether that is playing very aggressively from an off angle or with your team, or from a safer position in the back line. When you want to be with your team is probably around the start of a fight where you can gain the most value from a hyper ring and ultimate. And then you want to attack from off angles after the team has engaged to draw attention from your teammates onto yourself and then escape with your high mobility which distracts the opposing team and then they have to decide whether to die to you or to die to the rest of your team. Juno works best in brawl or dive comps and works very well with the majority of the tanks as having a speed boost and the ability to chase down opponents is very beneficial in most situations. However, in poke comps and most dive comps consisting of ball, Juno is very underpowered as she has a large damage fall off and her team cannot maximize the potential of her speed boost to the fullest. However, this doesn't mean you should swap off Juno if you're having fun or you want to learn how to play her as it is situations like this where you're actually maximizing your learning capabilities as you learn from failures and setbacks. In terms of support pairing so far, I've found that Lucio Juno, Juno Ana, and Juno Kiriko are the best support comps with Juno. However, as I mentioned earlier, most support comps can be played with Juno as she is a lot like Lucio, Ana, and Kiriko in being able to be played in most team comps, but I will say the most fun one is Lucio Juno as you and your teammates are basically moving around the map at 50% speed boost the entire time and it makes it extremely fun. I hope you all really enjoyed this video, it was actually a lot of fun to make as when Juno released, I was under the impression that she was a dog shit character and then I played her for a bunch for this video and I had a lot of fun. If you like this video, consider subscribing as it is free and you don't even need to watch my videos, just subscribing really helps me and the channel out very much and it is greatly appreciated. Until next time, stay safe and healthy and I'll see you all.